Welcome guys to this video that's going to be about patch 1.020 that just arrived to the test servers where we're going to get some new cool stuff but let's see exactly what it is. Because in this one we are going to scroll down a bit here because we're going directly to the new weapon the barrel M762 and this is how it looks in game. All right so I'm here with the barrel M762 and uh, this is how it looks like when it's just on the ground in its naked form. Looks pretty good. And uh, I, of course, already uh, made these two ready. We got the best attachments for full auto spraying with the half grip. And then we got uh, the vertical grip for tapping. These are still, to my knowledge, the best attachments for spraying and single tapping. But of course, I will dive into this more in a future video regarding this weapon. Also note that the rate of fire with the M7 is quicker than the AKM, meaning that it will do more DPS. It will do less damage per shot, but it's still pretty good. I feel like this is the M416 for 762. And as we call the M416, M4, I guess we're going to be calling this the M7. Because the M7 is like spraying with the good old M4. It feels extremely accurate and overall it's gonna shred people with almost no recoil. You do have to control it though. If you don't control it, that spray I just did here, it's gonna look like this. But this is still very low. Uh, kind of giving me some feelings uh, regarding the AUG, but still, I need to test this probably before uh, I get it, I get deeper into that that part of the recoil discussion. And um, it feels very good. It feels definitely. It feels like you're gonna simply be very good at spraying with this weapon um just imagine you're running here and you see this guy standing up here you can just spray him down but even better in single look at this so this was pretty far away and i was tapping relatively quickly but still the accuracy was pretty good So this definitely is a weapon that is easy to control and uh, it sounds pretty awesome. It, it has this nice and deep sound to it. It can attach the attachments you can see here. Um, you can put, as to my knowledge, all grips on this thing. This weapon also has a burst mode and I don't like that. I don't like the burst mode because I think it's unnecessary because you have to click twice to get into full auto from single unnecessary the burst mode will fire three bullets same as you can do in full auto by just holding down the mouse so i feel like this is an unnecessary feature i believe people would be able to burst uh by holding down the mouse button for three shots and um it's only going to add to some some confusion where sometimes Instead of going to full auto, because you instinctively press B or whatever do you have that bound to, to go into full auto, you're going to be like spraying down a guy and you, you're like, nothing happens. So that's a problem, I think. I think this doesn't belong here, honestly. Um, we just want full auto, in my opinion. It's the same thing as with the ump. The ump, why do I need a burst mode on the ump? I don't get it, um, but I guess it's a preference thing. I just don't like it, but I do like that. And that one thing to note as well is that this is going to be available on all maps. This is not only Sanog. You can find this on Miramar and on Rankle. And we're going to be looking forward to seeing this in action in pro games. So, yeah. We're also getting a new vehicle. The new Scooter. So this is the new Scooter. The new vehicle only for Sanog. This is replacing the bike. 
and the bike will no longer be possible to find on this map. Instead, you're gonna have to drive this. We're gonna go into TPP so you can see how it looks like when you drive. The sound is what you would expect from a scooter. The top speed is not that high. It is definitely not as high as with the bike. It, it's around the 90-ish kilometers per hour. The steering feels okay, um, but I guess the biggest thing is the off-road. Because it handles really well off-road, and you never have the feeling that you're about to tip over and fall and, and just simply die. Uh, you have this constant feeling of being in control, and uh, you don't fear like what you do on the bike, like what I just said, that you're gonna have this frontal flip and then you just die. So it feels like a very good vehicle for this environment to travel off-road, still goes at a decent pace when you're not on a road. And I'm not doing any pitch control, I'm basically just driving. The suspension reminds me of the new um, pickup truck, but on a bike kind of vehicle. So, you can traverse the area very quickly with this. And uh, let's try to drive it up here. I'm not going to control any pitch. Of course, I did crash into this. But you did see the pitch was... I didn't control it. And I was going these bumps. With the bike, you would, you would have to do a lot of work with your pitch control uh, in order to make that successful. So it's a very user-friendly vehicle, and um, you just simply drive. That's it. So the last thing I guess we all want to know is... Will it flip? Well, let's find out. It will. <laughs> um, but not that far. So I guess we did a pretty decent jump here, but... It's not the bike. You lack the power, you lack simply the velocity to make these kind of wild jumps. But yes, it does flip indeed. For TPP players, you will get more customizability in terms of your cameras. You will now be able to set default uh, positions in your options regarding like how you want the cameras, should it be to your right or to your left, and so on. Sometimes when you join a game, you get this key guide. And this is kind of cool uh, because it's going to help a lot of players to rem be reminded about how their keys are set. I don't know for sure, but I think this is probably going to change um, depending on how your bindings are. Otherwise, it would be a bit of a waste. But I don't know, but I would assume it's going to be like that. It's a good help to new players. We also have a nice little detail here. Highlighting of items. So how many times when we need to pick something up and we just quickly want to take it on the go? How many times did we not pick up the wrong stuff? So this new system where you can see the outline of what you're actually about to pick up is now implemented, making it much easier to just quickly grab something. So if I just quickly want to grab the thumb grip here, I know that right now this is what I'm going to get. So I'm getting that. And the same thing goes for whatever if we want to take like the top box of ammo like this. So that is extremely helpful and it's, um, it's a small thing, but it's uh, one of these quality of life things that I really like. They also changed the look of the map markers, so instead of looking like players, it's now looking more like actual markers. And now to something a lot of you guys are gonna appreciate a lot. Because now you can actually see when your reports of players result in bans. So if you encounter cheaters and you report them, you'll get a notification when they get banned and for how long they get banned. Um, this is just a great feature that's gonna encourage reporting because you're probably gonna notice that this will happen more often than you think because they actually take this very seriously. 
in the team management menu, you can now not only mute your teammates, you were able to do that before in the last patch, but you can now report your teammates. So if you have someone that is extremely offensive or even cheating, I don't know, just anything that will require a report, then you can do that right here. A small feature to the custom games is that now when you are a player in the custom game and not actually the owner, then you can now see the settings of the custom game just like you could before uh, we got this whole custom game update. But this is a nice thing because it's going to help people to understand the exact settings that are used for the games. And also an update that I think a lot of you guys are going to appreciate. They decreased the minimum required players uh, to start a game from 10 to 8. This means that you can actually do squad versus squad. Uh, you, maybe you have a team and you have a friend that has a team. Now you can play against each other without needing those two extra uh, wheels to start the game. This is a nice thing and I think a lot of people are going to appreciate it. Regarding the bug fixes, we do have some cool stuff here. But I normally just don't go into this unless I think there's something very special. And I think the most important thing I'm seeing here is the, is the last one actually. Fixed an issue where players could see through a wall using painkiller, energy drink, adrenaline syringe and medical kits close to the wall. This was terrible and extremely easy to do. So overall, this is a nice patch. It, we're continuing down the road with quality of life improvement, bug fixes, and we now have a new weapon that I'm super excited about starting to use. I love the fact that we're getting another 762 assault rifle because we have three commonly found assault rifles right now that are 556, and now we're gonna get one more uh, next to the AK that are 762. So we now have two and three, which is okay. But overall, like I said, I like this patch, and I'm gonna put the patch notes in the description below um, so you can read it up on yourself. I hope you like this little patch guide, and I'll see you guys next time.